Hey guys, and welcome to my very first YouTube video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be giving you some back to school preparation tips. Now, I'm sorry that I'm putting this out at the beginning of August. I'm so, so sorry to the people who go back in August, but hopefully you can use these tips for next year, and for the people who are going back in September, hopefully you can use them this year as well as years to come. Okay, so my first tip is to buy all your school supplies before school starts. Now, this is a very important tip because if you go to school the first day, and let's say your first class, your teacher gives you papers, you want to be able to put them in a notebook or a binder and not, like, in your bag and like the bottom of your bag because those will get lost and those could be important also if y your school is like my school and your teacher makes you fill out forms or something then you need a pencil or a pen to write with and it's good to have that with you so you can fill them out the second tip i have for you is to personalize your lockers so buy things such as magnets mirrors stuff like that and decorate your locker with that kind of stuff like make it your own don't make it look like everyone else because it's not that fun and it's kind of boring so yeah decorate your locker and if your school is like my school and you have to share a locker then buy things that you you and your locker buddy both like so I share my locker with one of my best friends and we've been sharing a locker for two years this is gonna be our third year and she last year she made magnets and she made a black eyed peas magnet because i love black eyed peas and she made some magnets that she likes so things like she found that was very cool so she made that and we decorated our locker with magnets so yeah make sure to personalize your locker because it will make it look great and yeah also since we're on the locker topic make sure your locker is organized you don't want to have a messy locker because having a messy locker at the beginning of the year will make sure that you have a messy locker for then a semester or to the end of the year which isn't a good thing because you want to keep organized and you want to know where everything is so buy things like locker shelves locker shelves are really good because you can put your binders down there and put your textbooks up there stuff like that or you could buy these things that I've seen in the store, don't know what it's called, sorry, I'm going to try to describe it. So you have your locker, you open it, at the inside of your door you have this thing that hangs down, you can put pens in it and pencils, there's sometimes a mirror on it, and like you can put stuff in it, so stuff like that. So yeah, make sure to have an organized locker, there will be an organizing video coming very soon so stay tuned to that if you're not very organized because i could really help you with that so yeah that was tip number two so tip number three if you like to shop and you like to buy back to school clothes hit the sales right now i know there are a lot of end of season sales so i would go to the store now around this time and before or you can wait till the before uh, the back to school sales start also because then stores will have sales and so yeah so hit the sales because you'll buy clothes that you really like and you really want to wear to school for cheaper prices and yeah also back to school sales for school supplies that's when you want to buy your school supplies I always wait till stores have those sales before I buy anything because it's cheaper and it's more worth it so yeah I buy my school supplies then tip number four adjust your bedtimes if you go to bed at three and you wake up at one you're gonna have to stop doing that I know it's sad I'm gonna miss that so much but it's time for back to school which means going to bed earlier waking up earlier so yeah adjust your bedtime so what I suggest doing two weeks before school starts start practicing going to sleep a bit earlier and waking up a bit earlier so go so let's say you start at three go to bed at two wake up at 12 
go to bed at 11. <laughs> Just kidding. Go to bed at 1 and then wake up at 11. Ha, see, figured it out. So yeah, do it by every two hours, one hours, whatever you think will actually work for you. Tip number five, and probably my last tip, is know where your classes are before school starts. If your school gives your schedule out early, then I suggest reading on your schedule what room your class is in and finding that room before school starts so that you won't be late for class because being late for class will give bad impression on you for your teacher, which is not how you want to start off the school year. Also, if you want to know who's in your class, post your schedule on Facebook and your friends will see it and maybe they'll say, oh, I have French with you or oh, I have gym with you and you'll go, yay, I actually know someone in my class. That never happens with me. I don't know. My school hates me. They never want to put me with my friends. That was my five tips for you for your back to school preparation tips. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that these back to school tips, preparation tips will help you or help you next year depending. And if you have any comments or questions or you want to tell me what you do to get ready for back to school, just leave some comments below, below, and I'll be glad to read them, respond, stuff like that. Also, if you have any suggestions for me, since this is my very first YouTube episode, also, um, you know, type that below and I'll take that into consideration for my next videos that I post. Also, if you enjoy this video and you want to uh, see my next videos that will be coming shortly, make sure to subscribe! Yay! Subscribe to me, please. I love you guys. Please subscribe. I will have some more videos up soon, so check them out, and I will see you later. Bye!